guys, I'm not going to tell you to like, share, or subscribe anytime soon yet because you might not even like the video. But I'm going to tell you right now, this to me has got to be one of the best jump shots you can have in 2K20. Not trying to clickbait. I mean, listen, I only got like 46 subs. Like, what am I going to get with it, right? Like, what am I, like I go, the most I can ask is just for like maybe 20 likes in the video. I don't know if that's even the case. But I will tell you, I did green seven of these jump shots in a row. As you can, now this is my hot spots. Like when I get to the right side, I'm gonna miss. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna miss a little bit, but I do manage to actually uh, knock down a few green light shots. And that's only because that's not my main spot to shoot from, right? And when you're actually playing this, you actually, like when you're practicing your jump shots, my opinion, the ball machine is the greatest you can have. Why? Because you need catch and shoot. Like, you just want to get in a rhythm. Like, if you are a rhythm shooter, you need to catch and shoot. You need catch and shoot. Uh, maybe uh, the badge you can use. It, or use Hot Zone Hunter. Hot Zone Hunter works too. Like, if you have hot, like I have hot spots. Not as far as where I'm shooting at, but kind of like a little bit closer. Especially on the left side. So, when someone's throwing me the ball and I'm catching and shooting, and I'm, you know, then, yeah, it's catch and shoot. But I can also have Hot Zone Hunter. It just depends on what your player is able to get. Um, I think I can get both. I have to check. I have all my badges maxed out so I can always rotate them and change it up. Because I didn't use any glitches. I actually grinded my career twice. Two seasons. Right? So, um, I got all my badges maxed out. But because I am not like a stretch or anything, I think there's only so much I can get. And only so far I can go with maxing out my badges and stuff like that for shooting. But all of that is done. I don't have to get any more shooting badges. Like I said, I'm missing right now because, you know, I'm at the very top of the key and I'm just trying to get back in rhythm. And that's why this ball machine really works because it's, it's catch and shoot. Now, I miss again because I have to get right back in rhythm. But once I practice a little bit more, I'm just going to tell you right now, you need jump shot creator for this. A lot of y'all don't have jump shot creator. And that's why I think that a lot of people are missing their jump shot. Like when I go to the park and I'm looking at win percentages, I'm looking at... Um, uh, shot percentages. I'm looking at all of these things, right? A lot of people cannot shoot. A lot of people cannot shoot. They is not getting green lights like that, right? They they cannot. And the reason why I say it is because on 2K19, I think it was a little bit easier to get jump shot creator. I'm not sure what you have to do. I forgot, right? It's a little bit a while ago. But I'm gonna tell you right now, when it comes to this, you need to play my career to get jump shot creator. There's no glitches for that. There's no easy way to get it. There's none of that. And I'm going to show you, this was on Hall of Fame, by the way. Now, people probably wonder, well, who cares if it's on Hall of Fame in my career, right? Because we know it changes at the park, the latency, all of that. However, if you take off the meter when it comes to shooting, you're really just looking at your form. The meter at the park and the meter in the my court is two different feelings, right? It's a little delayed. Uh, at the park, I wish it was the same way in my career. I mean, my court because obviously, if you're practicing in your my court, it makes sense. It behooves you to be able to practice in my court because then you can translate that to the game at the park. But it just doesn't work like that. The service, I don't know. Listen, I don't know about any of these things. But if you look at the form, and again, I'm on the right side. So listen, a lot of times I'm not gonna frequent on the right side. So in my opinion. Unless you can shoot everywhere or you don't mind traveling around the park and catching and shooting and all of that, then that's fine for you. But a lot of the times when I'm setting screens and I'm rolling, I'm setting off-ball screens, I go to my favorite spot. A lot of the times, that's just how I do it. I just go to my favorite spot. And here, I finally actually green it because I have to look at the release. And because you look at the form and not the bar that kind of tricks you and, you know, de and deceives you, you can actually get a better chance of making it because it's a more of a green or greener light green window or something like that but trust me it's better to shoot without the meter it's better to shoot when you have a jump shot creator you have to play my career a lot of people try to get out of that and i don't understand like the purpose like to me you're more of a skilled player if you actually grind in my career and you get everything that you need to have like, a lot of people don't have their badges a lot of times I don't get games because, you know, like I'll play like, and these jump shots work on, uh, at the park. It does. It does work at the park. Um, but it's just, I don't play that much because I don't feel like being sold out. I don't feel like losing. And it's crazy because when I was in 2K19, I was the one who had the worst 
you know, win percentage. Now, I did have an 87 win percentage and stuff like that, but now it went down to a 70 because I gave so many people chances to play with me. And there'll be 97 overalls, there'll be 98 overall, even a 99 overall, and they still cannot shoot. Which kind of lets me know that a lot of them had did the glitch. A lot of them have. And see, when you get your hot spots and stuff like that, even if it's not green, you still have a good chance of it going in because you have hot spots. Especially if you have hot zone hunters, you damn near would never miss. But guys, if you just practice, you know, practice makes perfect. Now I'm just going to show you exactly what I have because I have jump shot created. I earned it in my career. I'm just going to go straight to it. I have uh, Steph Curry's, like when I go to it, I just named all kinds of stuff. I just put all kinds of weird names. I don't know why I made it like that, but let's go to it. I have Steph Curry's base, Paul George release, number one and two. Now, y'all can't tell me that don't look good. Listen, in the comment section, if y'all ever come across this video, I don't care if it's just one person, please let me know if y'all tried this jump shot at the park. And just let me know how it works. I, I just think it's nice. Like, to me, I just was just trying to find it. I always like Paul George release. But I'm going to tell you, Paul George release, you kind of have to release it a little slower. So as soon as you see it lift up, kind of hold it a little bit and then just release. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah. Welcome to my life, welcome to my...